the Catholic Daily Journal for Monday, January the 14th, 2019. Today is the birthday in 83 BC of Mark Antony. He was a close associate of Julius Caesar and was sent by him to oversee the situation in Egypt. At the time, Egypt was the most important province in the Roman Empire because about 80% of the wheat that was the staple food of Rome came from there. A local queen who was not from Egypt, but who had gone native, so to speak, was causing some trouble. And Mark Antony, who was sent to keep this Cleopatra upstart in her place. Still, Mark Antony is best known for his fictional role as the speaker at Caesar's funeral. His famous speech, written by William Shakespeare, is a masterstroke of oratory that sadly overshadows this incredible man and his truly amazing, albeit short, career. Today is also the birthday of St. Malachi, an Irish abbot who is most famous for his so-called prophecy of the popes, in which he claimed that in the 12th century that there would be only 112 more popes before the last pope took the name Peter and ushered in the end of days. It's worth remembering that St. Malachi did not write this as a prophecy. He wrote it on a scrap of paper, and some 400 years later, a librarian monk named Arnold published it under the title, A Doomsday Prophecy. And since then, every time a papal election has taken place, various groups do their math. But during which papacy did St. Malachi write his prophecy? And so where does the 112 begin? Should we include anti-popes elected invalidly by splinter groups in the last thousand years? It makes for some conspiratorial conjecture, but not much else. And today in 1741, British-born American General Benedict Arnold was born. His name is synonymous with being a traitor despite the fact that he never actually went through with his plot. It was September 1780 when General Arnold was put in charge of defending West Point in New York. He had intended to surrender the fort to the British, which could have cost the Colonials the war. But his plan was found out, and he managed to escape and defect privately. West Point was held, and the British were not able to get a foothold in New York or anywhere else in the colonies. Still. A Benedict Arnold is a traitor today, just as it was in 1780. Finally today, back in medieval France, today would have been the Feast of the Ass, observing the Holy Family's flight into Egypt on the back of a donkey. It was part of the Feast of Fools and what we would think of as Carnival. People would dress as donkeys and recall the various stories in the Bible which include donkeys and mules. An odd day to be sure but part of our story. The Catholic Daily Journal is supported by listeners like you. For more information, visit catholicunderground.com. Until next time, be on the lookout for the Lord at work in your life.